floods account for the major share of natural disasters in Southeast Europe. The latest example of floods were in May 2014, hitting Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia and Serbia. The Programme for Prevention, Preparedness and Response to Floods in the Western Balkans and Turkey is intended to increase beneficiaries' capacity to ensure proper flood risk management at national, regional and EU levels and is composed of two lots. The EPA Floods Lot 2 started on July 2015, running until the 21st of January 2018, will contribute to increase beneficiaries' capability to develop effective national civil protection systems and collaborate in a coherent manner in dealing with floods at regional and European levels by implementing capacity building for flood preparedness and response through the establishment of multinational civil protection modules for flood response, high capacity pumping, HCP, and flood containment, FC. Beneficiary countries for lot two are Albania, Bosnia and Herzegovina, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Kosovo under UNSCR 124499, Montenegro, Serbia, and Turkey. The main activity of Lot 2 was the Civil Protection Field Exercise EPA Floods, Varajdin, 2017. The exercise consisted of a tabletop exercise with command post exercise features, which was conducted on the 9th of October 2017, and a field exercise which was conducted from the 10th to the 13th of October 2017 in Varajdin County, the Republic of Croatia. During this TTX, the process of requesting for international assistance and responding to an international request for assistance was tested and trained. All seven beneficiary countries and three consortium partners, Croatia, Germany and Italy, participated from their headquarter locations. Croatia has three significant risks when it comes to catastrophe. potresi i požari na otrnome, tako da svaka ova vježba, da li je ona za potres ili za poplavu ili za požar, ima značaj za jedan, ajmo reći, europski pristup prema katastrofama, takozvani all hazards approach, gdje sposobnosti koje kreiramo za jednu katastrofu se može koristiti i za druge slučajeve. The Emergency Response Coordination Center participated at the TTX from Brussels. The main aim of the EPA floods varaged in 2017 was to exercise the cooperation within the framework of the Union Civil Protection Mechanism after large-scale floods. The overall objective was to train and to improve the cooperation of the civil protection modules for high capacity pumping and for flood containment in the field and the international coordination structures in an international environment. Nevertheless, Flood defence activities were exercised, which was the focus of the exercise. The exercise objective was to improve the procedures of alerting, mobilising and dispatching civil protection modules. An essential focus was on the cooperation and coordination with the civil protection headquarters in Croatia, with the Union Civil Protection Team establishing an on-site operations coordination centre. The program is important first and foremost because it will provide better flood protection for citizens both inside and outside the European Union here in the Balkans. Secondly, we are bringing together 12 different nations, five nations organizing this, seven nations benefiting from the program and they're learning to work together on the ground and therefore reach economies of scale in flood response. And the third reason is that we are building here capacities, modules, that we can use anywhere, wherever they are needed. And people are pre-trained, people of different nationalities, different languages, different cultures, are pre-trained to work together, set up the uh, flood works and protect people concerned. The participating teams in the exercise were four civil protection modules from the EPA floods beneficiaries, two multinational civil protection modules for high capacity pumping, HCP North and HCP South, and two multinational civil protection modules for flood containment, FC North and FC South, including their team management, operations and logistics. 
Participating teams in the exercise were also two HCP modules from participating states in the Union Civil Protection Mechanism, Italy and Germany. Participating teams from Croatia in the exercise were Civil Protection Operational Forces from Varaždin County, Civil Protection Headquarters, Firefighters, the Red Cross, Mountain Rescue, Civil Protection Flood Rescue, Emergency Medical Services, the Police, Croatian Waters and local municipalities. Disasters are a phenomenon that are uh, affecting the broader communities of countries. So that's why we, it's important that we know how our neighbour work to be able to, re, uh, in case, uh, to receive assistance or to provide assistance to our neighbours. Uh, disaster management is built on that. We need to work all together toward a common objective of uh, safeguarding the life of people, uh, of the people of our countries. Altogether, 526 participants took part in the field exercise, including EXCON, the evaluation team and observers. The EU CPT was deployed to establish an OSOC in order to facilitate the coordination of incoming international assistance. The management of the modules regularly met in the OSOC and updated the EU CPT on their operations and activities. To guarantee a realistic and challenging exercise environment for the modules, several areas of operations were identified and prepared for floods defence operations. Tunnovets, Kuchen Ludbreski, Veliki Bukovets, Mali Bukovets, Varzhin City. All areas provided a wide spectrum for flood defence activities with different levels of difficulties and the potential use of various techniques. All modules were accommodated in the base of operations at premises of the Voluntary Firefighting Association, Bishkobets, in the city of Varazdin. Modules were self-sufficient in the base of operations in terms of accommodation, fuel, catering and drinking water. The Republic of Croatia activated its host nation support system that included logistical support and coordination of different activities, such as liaison officers for each module and EU CPT communication support, emergency medical assistance, OSOC hardware, sanitation support in the base of operations and support at the pre-identified border crossings points. Sigurno, uh da to skupno delo v regiji, ki smo ga nekako začeli z prvimi IPA projekti, kjer je bila Slovenija tudi vodilni partner v, v tem konzorciju, je eno od glavnih stvari ta, to skupno delo, pravzaprav, regionalnih enot in jaz mislim, da smo na tem področju naredili največji napredek, da so pravzaprav vse države, vse uprave za, za zaščito in reševanje spoznale nekako evropski mehanizem, da vsi delamo na isti terminologiji, da delamo v istem smislu, da se razumemo med sabo, predvsem na, na praktičnih delavnicah, seminarjih, predvsem pa na vajah pride do tega sodelovanja, kjer seveda te ekipe sodeluje in potem, ko prije do resničnega primera. Flooding in the area of Valjdin County the rivers Drava, Bednia and Plitvica. All activities are coordinated by regional civil protection headquarters. The government of Croatia decided to send the request for international assistance to ERCC to activate the Union Civil Protection Mechanism. I would say we had a very good plan. The Croatian authorities uh, and PRD, they prepared it very carefully and um, the, the sites are very well prepared and they have a lot of stuff outside so it was extremely well prepared of course it does not always follow the plan because it's a lot of teams but we we were able to steer the exercise in the way we want the requested capacities were high capacity pumping flood containment and coordination support by eu cpt this scenario provided an excellent platform to trigger cooperation and coordination for all actors involved in the exercise audience. The exercise control was responsible for steering of the exercise by monitoring all ongoing activities and by implementing the timing according to the Detailed Scenario Event Catalogue, DSEC, 
and to trigger additional injects with prepared role players. You can see it all over the world, in Europe, in Northern Europe, and, and especially when it's threatening critical infrastructure. So that's why we have the barrier team here to protect and, and isolate important places as transformation substations and things like that. The XCON was directly connected to the trainers and safety and security officers delivering permanent information from the different team activities. Most of the participants in the exercise today are observing uh, an improvement uh, compared to yesterday. Uh, we saw quite a lot of uh, communication and coordination ongoing in between the teams, which is also uh, the scope of the exercise. So it's not only managing and making the equipment functional, but also talking together and arranging together how to better cooperate in responding to the disaster. So yes, I de I'm definitely <clears throat> satisfied with the results and I'm looking forward to a continuation of these results. After the field exercise on Thursday the 12th of October, an evaluation workshop was organized to share the fresh impressions and observations and to preliminary evaluate the exercise itself. The foreseen audience of the evaluation workshop was the management of each module, the trainers, the evaluators, XCON, as well as exercise management. Simultaneously, the workshop is intended to identify possible improvements for future field exercises and real missions. On the 12th of October, Base of Operations hosted a closing ceremony marking a successful end of the EPA floods Vajdin 2017 exercise. All participants were presented with certificates. That one day is sure to wake memories of the participation in the EPA floods Vajdin 2017 exercise, which, should be noted, was rated highly by participants, evaluators and observers alike. The well-prepared scenario for the EPA floods Vajdin 2017 field exercise showed a real flood-threatening situation in which participants had to face challenges that could only be overcome by joint action and international cooperation. It is the only way if we are to save property and, far more importantly, human lives.